we now need to take the difficult decisions about the actions needed to deliver on these commitments. The expansion of Liverpool John Lennon Airport is one such decision. We simply cannot plan for transitioning to a net zero carbon economy by 2030 and expand the airport in speak. It cannot be done. Our motion will tell the airport to rethink its plans and introduce an urgent evidence-based review of all policies relating to green space and the environment to protect the existing green belt. I want to say more about why we should also remove public financial support from the airport, something Labour are still unwilling to agree to today. But first, let me underline some crucial points. The environmental cost. We should all thank the Stay Bob Let's Show Green Belt campaign and Liverpool Friends of the Earth who have been campaigning tirelessly on this issue. They tell us that the airport expansion plans will adversely affect the Oblet Shore, a site of international importance for wetland birds, much of it presently designated Greenbelt. It is an urban oasis of woods, ponds and streams. It is home to many red list endangered species. Peel Holdings, who own the airport land, have proposed relocating the habitats. But you cannot overnight build new habitats that have been developing since Anglo-Saxon times. The human cost. Friends of the Earth describe the area as a green lung. It is much needed. Speak is one of the most green space deprived communities in England. Air quality in Speak is already dreadful. Life expectancy is over four years below the national average. More polluting planes and traffic are the complete opposite of what is needed. Indeed, the British Land Foundation found that just before lockdown, air pollution from all sources was killing 1,040 people a year in Liverpool. That is a health crisis with its roots in our environmental crisis. We cannot base a post-COVID net zero econ economic recovery on airport expansion. We should grasp today the urgent need to divert the limited financial resources available to us toward investment in the future net zero economy. Instead of pledging to remove all financial support from the airport, Labour wants us to agree to bring forward a report detailing the process that kicks the decision into the long grass. We must recognise that relying on global tourism, drawing ever more international visitors in through an expanded airport and ever bigger ships berthing at a new cruise liner terminal was always bad for the environment. Post-pandemic, it will also be a non-starter for the economy and job security. We need a new bold vision for a local economy based on the Green New Deal that protects people's incomes and creates jobs that are sustainable for people and the environment, not the failed polluting jobs of the past represented by this airport expansion. Let me say it again, you simply cannot arrive at net zero carbon economy by 2030 and expand the airport in speed. It cannot be done. I hope we may have a consensus on that fact today. It is with some reluctance and in order to ensure the greatest unity possible that I accept Labour's amendment to bring forward a report on the consequences of removing financial aid to the airport. But let it be done urgently. The climate crisis is here now. Thank you, Councillor. Is the motion seconded? You certainly can, Councillor. I've also got councillors Lawrence Brown and Stephanie Pictures. Apologies, yeah. The night is long, isn't it? Do any other members wish to speak on this item? Yes, before we go to the amendments. Councillor Crown, I'll bring you in now. Lord Mayor, I think Anna said absolutely everything that needs to be said on the topic, so uh, I may just speak to the amendment, or uh, that's all from that, thanks. Councillor Rothery. Thank 
the Lord Mayor of Speed to Scotia on about moving the petition uh, for the um, safeguard of children green belt or green space as a uh, council of Kushina um, for a slight on before. Um, I'm just going to read a statement on their behalf if that's okay, Lord Mayor. So the report John Lennon Airport has published their master plan for the green belt land around the site. The airport only received 190 responses. The petition is asking for both councils to oppose the expansion of Liverpool Airport, to stop the closure of Dungeon Lane and Ashton's Lane, retain the shore as a recreational resource, and protect, preserve, and retain access to historic elements in Yew Tree Farm, Bobler Farm, and the Dungeon Salt Walks and Quay. Retain existing green belt land under both councils and preserve the existing wildlife habitats. The Oddard Shore, Anglo Saxon oak by the water, runs northwest from Dungeon Lane up to the airport, right down the street, and almost to the bund of the Earth Mound that separates Spickle from the runway. It is an SSI, SPA, and Ramsar site of international importance for the wetland birds that live there. The fields that lie between the airport runway and the shore are designated green belts in Grade 1 agricultural land and may be the last tr truly rural area in Liverpool. Yet this beautiful area with its woods, ponds and streams, home to barks and owls and many red list endangered farmland birds and a vital habitat in an increasingly built up area is due to disappear under the concrete if the lost made in Liverpool airport development goes ahead. Many historic buildings have already been demolished and more are planned. In an area where open land has been rapidly being sold for housing, there are decreasing numbers of places for the community to relax and enjoy the environment. We have proposed relocating habitat, habitats, but with the planned construction of 10,700 new houses between Halebank and Speak, it is difficult to see where this would be. Liverpool City Council have pledged to protect our parks and green spaces and also have a duty to protect and preserve this important coastal habitat. So why threaten it in vain, in the vain hope of an airport that will become profitable? Thank you very much, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Gibbons? Yeah, I just wanted to make a very simple point that, I mean, I'm totally opposed to any expansion of the airport, totally exposed to seeing public shore ruined. And I think when we take a look at this situation, I think the campaigns from public shore have done us a great service. And as democratic socialists, we should not see them as outsiders, but actually we should engage with them, we should visit them, we should use them as a resource and friends of the earth and make sure that we retain this resource, this wonderful wild space, and we oppose any ruination of our environment. And as eco-socialists, that should be our commitment. And I will never vote for building on April Shore, and I will never vote for expansion of the airport. Thank you, Councillor Kemp. Thank you,